the supplier registration starts on your website, for example. This would be your website. The supplier gets to the registration page of the Ariba network. We're going here at light speed to fill in the information into the system, and we continue. What's interesting is the first page that the supplier gets when he comes back is your own questions, the questions you want to know. And those questions are dynamic. See, question five, I'm changing the option here, and oh, I have a 5.2. I change again another answer, and oh, I have a 5.2.2. It's dynamic. We only show this, the questions that the supplier really need to answer. And on his generic Ariba profile on the network, he has different topics, and we try to incentivize him by telling him, hey, you haven't done everything, you still need to fill some questions. And from here, the supplier will be able to get quotes, contract, purchase orders. Now let's go to your side of the story. This is your dashboard. In your dashboard, you have actions. In here, we see that you need to approve suppliers. So we're gonna search for this guy who just registered. There he is. It's a Dutch word, it's called gebouwdrie. So it's unapproved. And we see here the page, we need to approve. That's the process to make sure that when suppliers register, we have a control around this. So once approved, he will be available for our processes. And the data here contains many different topics. We're not gonna go into all the details, but it contains basically everything you need to manage that relationship with the supplier. And the last piece here, the reporting, you will have 360 degree reports on everything the supplier does with your procurement here, even supplier performance. So purchase orders, everything you can have report on for that supplier. So that's a nice transition to the next topic, supplier performance. This is how the data tells a story. Let's look at server tech here. Q1, 95, great performance. Q2, hmm, yellow, not so good, something went wrong. Q3, red, hey, we called him up, we made an action plan, and it got a little bit better. It's on the trend to get improved. So this is the kind of information you want to do with your suppliers. And this can be in commodities and different aspects and regions or anything you need. But at its baseline, it's tracking the performance of those suppliers. So you see here, for example, sustainability. This would be another KPI, key performance indicator, that has been tracked. And if you look, where does the data come from? It's very simple. In this case, it came from a survey. So we had different questions and four people from our company answered. And you see Sabine is not very happy. The guy never answers or never participates in the meeting. And we turned this into mathematics. So you see this same questions gives a score for 78.75. So it's a score depending on the answer chosen by Sabine and the others. And if we look at how this scoring works, it's very easy again. Here, a question, does the supplier collaborate? Never 60%, sometimes 80%, all the time 100%. And this question had some importance into the system. So this is how the scoring works for the qualitative data. It can be more fancy. I'm trying to, get to, to just give you an overview here. We can also include transactional data, ERP data driven. 